Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. Sorry for not uploading videos recently. Uh, I work as a full-time JavaScript developer and sometimes uh, uh, I do not get time to create videos. Sometimes I have time but I don't feel like making videos. Uh, but I'll be for sure growing this channel and keep on adding more videos. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It will really motivate me. And as promised, uh, we are going to create a full stack React plus Meteor application. Please watch my previous uh, video to know what we are going to build. And uh, so uh, let's get started by installing Meteor on your system. To uh, get to know more about uh, Meteor, head over to meteor.com. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Meteor 1.5 for this tutorial. If you are from future, the st steps would normally remain the same. Uh, so let's get started by installing Meteor. So just head over to meteor.com, then go to guide or maybe just click on install steps. And then you'll, you'll come up to this page. Quick start. I'll be sharing you this link. Just copy this curl. Uh, for Windows, uh, there would be a similar step. On Mac, just open terminal and copy paste the text so as you can see uh, it took roughly two to three minutes to download meteor depending on the in internet connection speed and uh, once the meteor is installed just check the version with meteor space hyphen hyphen version and you can see the meteor version so we are going to use 1.5 so let's get started by creating our app so the simply type meteor create so we are going to create uh, a scorekeeper apps for players so let's say players app and once you type this command it will scaffold a meteor boilerplate uh, code for you it will also create a players app folder for you it will take a uh, little bit time so once we are inside the players app folder you have to run npm install but we are going to use uh, meteor's uh, bundled uh, node package manager that is meteor npm install and it will install packages uh, uh, from your packages.json file so you might be wondering why not just use npm install instead of meteor npm install well meteor uh, uh, comes comes up with its own bundled version of uh, npm so it does not require npm to be installed globally on your system it's kind of helpful when uh, you're deploying an app to an uh, external uh, operating system maybe centos uh, in, uh, continuous integration server uh, you can also use npm install that's fine too but uh, i would advise you to stick to uh, meteors uh, npm only so Let's just go to the folder and uh, so I'm going to use uh, WebStorm and uh, I'm just going to go to my projects and players app and just hit open. All right, so once you have opened the project in uh, any of your favorite uh, IDE or maybe if you are using Sublime Text 3, so you can see inside our players app, uh, we have this scaffolded folders, node modules is your whatever contents inside packet.json they get installed currently it's bare bone it's, it has nothing so we have server folder we have client and mainly we are interested in client and server folder uh, if you open up main.js you'll see this uh, bare bone code and we're just simply going to delete this we don't need anything for now let's just do a console.log and let's say server.js and uh, let's just go to main.js same thing uh, it might be having a lot of imports and few event listeners so basically uh, currently it has some template he hello events and everything uh, we are going to learn more about uh, specifically uh, meteor startup event listener we'll see about that in future for now let's just do a console.log and same thing we are going to do to main.js, delete everything and just type console.log main.js. Okay, 
to run this application all you have to do is uh, open your terminal uh, so and all you have to type is meteor you can even type meteor run but i'm just going to type meteor let's see what happens for the first time it will take a little bit of time please note you can also provide a release flag so that the startup becomes uh, a bit quicker and as you can see uh, the server is up and running for the server js whatever you type in server dot the servers main dot js file so it will get printed in your console terminal but whatever you type inside client main dot js it will get printed out to your browser so let's just copy this path and let's just go to our browser screens and head over to localhost 3000 port and you can see it's showing us uh, basic html and you can also see that console log is printed if everything is fine then you have to assume the meteor installation is uh, successful that's it from this video and uh, in the next uh, video, we'll see more about how to use Meteor.Startup events, how to uh, lazy load uh, React components. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.